What up chess players and my friends? In this video let's focus on hanging pieces and how weak they are. Right, so which ones are the hanging pieces? For black it's this rook. It's the only piece that is basically not defended by anyone. The thing about hanging pieces is you just want to target them. Like for example, bishop e2 or maybe bishop d5. These are generally kind of good moves in a way that they create a threat that must be met in a specific way. You can predict the move of your opponent. But what you generally want to do against hanging pieces is see if you can threaten them whilst threatening something else at the same time, in which case you're going to win the piece for free. So in this first example, what are you going to do to win this black rook completely for free? Pause the video now, write down the idea in the comment section and come back for the solution in 3, 2, 1. Okay, well, the move is very simply bishop h5 check. It starts with a check. This king can't really move anywhere down, so he, he can't go to f7 anyway. He has to go to h6. Now, bishop f7 comes with an attack on the rook, so always target the hanging piece. But also make sure that there's also another threat existing at the same time. Rook h5 is checkmate. Black is going to lose a rook in order to save himself from checkmate. So in this second example, once again, identify the hanging piece. Black's only hanging piece is the rook, the rook in e4. Every other piece is either lose or safe. Lose are these two which are defended only by pieces. This knight is actually very safe. Uh, we'll talk about it in another video. Anyway, here, how are we going to win this rook? We need to target that rook. But once again, a move like knight to d2 is too slow because it's only attacking the rook just to make an example. So what are we going to do to win this rook? We need to attack that rook whilst threatening something more important or as important at the same time. So once again, pause the video now, write down what you think in the comment section and come back for the solution in three, two, one. Okay, here we need to do a little bit of clearance. All we need in order to win the rook is to threaten the rook whilst threatening something else. So rook takes rook comes with check. Obviously, black is not going to take with the queen in order not to lose material. He's also unable to take with the king. He must take with the knight. Now, rook to the eight. <laughs> the queen is pinned. Can't take the rook. Black is forced to take with the king, which now puts the king in a more exposed position. And queen to d3 is a fork. This rook is lost. We're up a piece. 